Hi friends, welcome to Coco on the, huh, the where, the what? <laughs> Look, I don't have an intro yet. I'm not even worried about that right now. I'm just doing this now because I am the queen of procrastination. It was about two weeks ago that Coco on the radio said, girl, I got to go. I'm not feeling very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and say no right now. And I bowed out, which was the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. If you have ever had, maybe you were just ready to retire after 20 years and you know what that was like because you have another 20 years, 40 years in you and you don't want to do it doing that. I don't know, maybe that is you. And that's what I did. Uh, so I'm coming to you live. Actually, it won't be live because it might be two in the morning when you're listening to this at a graveyard shift because you're a nurse or you're taking your kids to school or you're picking them up after school. I don't know. Anyways, I'm in my third bedroom, the spare room that is the office slash workout room slash storage. <laughs> so listening, I'll describe to you quickly. Behind my right shoulder, there is a sleep number bed that is bound by 22 rolls of duct tape. For the viewers, you can see it. Yes, that's a sleep number bed. Very expensive when it's rolled up in that corner back there. Also a dresser full of random things that just, you know. Uh, behind my left shoulder, you'll see my very, uh, well, I love it, my Peloton. I just haven't used it in a while. I've been working out in the same room. I just haven't been on my Peloton. Then you will find a bookshelf. I'm showing my audience a six shelf bookshelf that has 42 books and 70,000 things on it that nobody even looks or reads or does anything. So maybe you also have one of those in your house. <laughs> I just got back from a trip to Puerto Aransas and uh, during that weekend, I just got a ton of validation. Uh, the prior week before that, I had lunch with a friend and they were like, what are you doing? What's going on? I thought you were going to do your podcast. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I just, uh, I don't know. What should I talk? And he's like, just stop and do it. So... Thank you. You know who you are. So here I am just doing it. <laughs> Attempting to anyways, right? Um, I feel like I'm going through a little bit of identity crisis. Uh, there's lots of crying. There's lots of sleeping. There's lots of what are you even doing, chick? Are you doing the right thing, honey? And the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Because if I didn't have all these feelings and if I was content with just doing the same old mundane thing and having those same feelings and I was cool with being okay with that, that's not good for myself. Uh, so if maybe yourself, you have a burning desire to change something in your life and you're terrified to do it, that's usually a really good sign. I know you don't think that, but it, tr it really, really is. So if you're scared to death and you don't think you're going to make it, jump, you will, and it's going to be all good friends. And I'm thankful for the people that encourage me because I've also needed to hear that. Uh, I've been out and about the last two weeks and I have seen so many of you guys. I've met so many of you and you've just been encouraging me going, we're ready, Coco, we're ready. What are you doing? So here's what I've been doing. I've caught up on some reality TV. <laughs> no, really. I, um, I think I'm just trying to be okay with not being okay. Uh, and that can be a little difficult, but I'm just owning up to that. I've also been spending time working on the community garden. So that's been a, a really good way to keep your mind off of things. Because listen, your mind and your thoughts can be your worst freaking enemy. Isn't that awful? It can be, they can be so strong and so encouraging. You can be so creative, but then man. When you start listening to all that rumble going on, you got to be like, girl. So I get a lot of that done. Uh, I get out of my head a lot when I'm in the garden with Leanne. So that is very, very good. I've also learned a couple of things. And it's brought the idea and the dream of a Southside Community Garden. So that's been another thing that's been keeping me uh, occupied. I've also had uh, two opportunities. I have two events that I've been asked to MC, so I'm so thankful for. See, so your girl ain't gone. She's just doing it in different ways in different avenues, um, and I'm thankful for that. The um, 
I was at an award show mm, two Fridays ago, three Fridays ago, four Fridays ago. And uh, the night of the award show, as we were walking in, I told my husband, I said, I'm okay if this is the last, uh, the last award show that I go to. Uh, I'm just done. Uh, so then I knew that I was ready to start dreaming in a different direction. I just really don't know what that is still. And I'm really okay with that. Uh, there are some other things that I'm working on, uh, being a personal trainer. So if you follow any of my social media, you have seen what I have done in the last year. I am so proud of this little baby muscle. Yes, I'm showing it off on my little YouTube. I'm so proud of this little baby muscle because I built her. I did that. This is hours of sweat and being tired and not wanting to get my butt up in the morning. This is what makes me proud because discipline shows that you freaking want it and that you're strong and that you're proud and that you can do it and that the only person holding you back is you. Woo! And I don't want that to be like that anymore. So. <laughs> so I, I, I'm taking control of that and I'm excited about it and I'm nervous about it. But I'm excited about it. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I just got back from a trip in Port Aransas. And it was gorgeous and it was beautiful. So, that's another thing. Maybe you need to take some time and just go to the beach. You need to figure out how to get OTB. Maybe it's OTB Portland Way, OTB Island Way. And get on out that way so you can go to Rockport um, and out to Port Aransas. If you're just heading out to North Padre Island, it is gorgeous. Get out there. Or, heck, listen, honey, if you're downtown and you need to get down to North Beach or get down somewhere down there just to get just to get the the air just washed over you. Go take a walk. We got to get out of our head, which this is also what I'm working on. Get out of here. I haven't even read it. Why? Why have I not read it? Because look what my daughter's done to the book. She's using it as circle time. That's another story for another time. I have a series coming up I'm working on called Things They Didn't Tell You at the Baby Shower. Anyways, friends, thank you for encouraging me. Thank you to the friend that said, are you going to do it or are you not? I'm waiting on something, so just get it on there. Here it is. It may not be worth a million bucks, but it's worth everything because I freaking did it. So maybe you need to be encouraged today, friend. Just go ahead and do it. Do the thing that is just sitting on that desk that you're like, tomorrow. What if your tomorrow doesn't come when you wish you shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you didn't? I don't want that. So that's why I made the hardest decision and stepped back from radio. Because that was a security blanket for me. That's easy for me. I can do it in my sleep. Literally, I don't know how many times I've been dog exhausted, tired, and just went in there and did it. But because of that, I've made so many connections, so many relationships, and I'm looking forward to mending those, working with those, uh, bringing more things to you that you just can't do. Uh, where I was. So thank you. Cheers to the next part. Uh, and we'll see what the second episode has. How should I end this? Peace. I'm from the 90s. <laughs>